It's just an old phone. One Hi there. This is Brant Bailiwick, JD. Do you have legal problems? Then you've come to the right place. I'm out of the office today at ThimbleCon 87, handling... Thimbleweed Park's second largest nerd and geek convention. Listen to KSCUM to win free ThimbleCon 87 tickets. None shall pass without showing me their ticket first. Oh, and welcome to ThimbleCon, of course. How can I get a ticket? The radio is doing a competition to win tickets. You could try your luck by calling up when they announce it. Oh, oh, I'm, you know, really dead. It's just starting to, you know, sink in. I'm never gonna hold my Dolores again. I never told her how proud I was of her for getting that job designing games. I was, you know, too afraid of what Chuck would think. Now I'm dead. I don't remember who killed me or why I'm trapped in this hotel. I need to find a way to escape from here. There has to be a way out. A magical book or a spell? Oh, Franklin, now you're going insane. That only works in games. Can't cope with the boredom anymore. Talk to me now. Okay. I'm not very good at talking to, you know, strangers. But I'll give it a try. How come you're so, you know, upset all the time? That's unfair. I'm not upset all the time. I'm just a little hungry right now, and that makes me angry. That happens to me, too. There should be a word for that. Can I, you know, please go to the penthouse? No. Hmm, please. No, you're not my friend. I don't know you anything. What can ghosts, you know, eat? As a ghost, it's hard to find food that we can eat. My particular weakness has always been ice cream cake. But I'm stuck in this stupid elevator and I can't get any. Bye, Clara. Oh. Shut up in there. No one will ever need more than 64K of memory. ghost nothing's happening until they get enough contestants for the ransom look-alike contest can I have some you know cake this is special ghost cake it's super rare and hard to get I'm not going to give you any unless you have a really good reason how about Clara said she wants some you know cake for Clara that changes everything for her I'd do anything here, take a slice. Just make sure you tell her it's from me. Thanks. I'll do that. Do you know how we can get out of the hotel? I know there's a way you can visit your dead relatives. If you have the spell book and offering left for the dead, that is. We all went to Chuck's funeral recently. Were there, you know, many people? For Chuck Edmund? Of course there were. Everyone loves Chuck, you know. Except me. I don't know how the spell worked exactly, but I know the secret room smelled really nice. See you soon, Virgil.
delicious cake made especially for ghosts. It doesn't have any candles to blow out. I'd just blow frosting in my face knowing my luck. Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. Would you like this, uh, you know, ghost cake? That's just normal ghost cake. Ugh. I only eat ice cream cake. Bye, Clara. Voila! Now it's ice cream ghost cake. Oh, it's just the flap doodle again. Would you like this, you know, uh, ice cream ghost cake? Oh my, you shouldn't have. That's so kind of you. Actually, it's from Virgil. I think he, you know, likes you. Really? Well, I never. That's delightful of you to deliver it. Thank you so much. I feel much better already. Now, what did you want to ask me? Who put Xavier, you know, in charge? No one. He just arrived one day, and the next thing I knew, I was on boring elevator duty. He's a fustalugs and a clasomaniac too, but no one will ever challenge him. You seem like someone who won't take guff from anyone. Maybe you can. Well, I don't know. I'm not really the type, you know, we... Can I... But you know, please go to the penthouse now. All oh, right. I'm tired of listening to Xavier, that old fustalugs. Maybe you can figure out how to get rid of him. Oh, you know, that sounds pretty confrontational. I don't know. <laughs> don't be so pigeon-livered. You should stand up for yourself. Oh, okay. I suppose you're right. <laughs> Good. It's decided then. Just push that penthouse button for yourself when you're ready. I won't stop you anymore. Thank goodness. So, Clara, do you know how you died? I was dancing at the hotel ball with my husband, and then I felt a horrible pain in my side, and I woke up dead. I was in the hotel too, I think. I just remember a flash, and then I woke up dead. I think we were all murdered in the hotel. There is something creepy about this place. Bye, and good luck. I finally made it to the penthouse. Who's that now? What are you doing here? Um, you know, just looking about. I suppose I'll allow that as long as you don't annoy me. What's going on? Those runes are doing something to me. I can't, you know, float through the door. A new ghost. I told you not to bug me. Is there any way I can speak to my daughter again? Not a chance, new ghost. Only the crystal behind me will grant you the ability, and you'll never get it. Hypothetically, if I was to get the crystal, how would I use it? Well, you're not going to get it. But hypothetically, if you were to get it... And only hypothetically, because you will never get it. Yes, you know, only hypothetically. Okay, hypothetically, you would just take it into my secret room. And you'd be able to talk with the living. That's it. Sorry, you know, to bother you, Xavier. Bye, Xavier. Sorry for bothering you. Stay away from my crystal. The crystal is impervious to your pathetic attempt at chilling. Stay away from my crystal. Blue was never my favorite color. I can't help but feel there was something suspicious about Uncle Chuck's death. He was a bit eccentric, but deep down he had always been a caring and thoughtful uncle. But... In the last few years, he became obsessed, and more than usual, with that pillow factory. 
I need to get inside and see if anything in his old office will help me make sense of it all. I owe it to him to find out what happened. It doesn't work in that. Here goes nothing. I'm checking in. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. Not long now. I'd like to check in, please. Certainly, Abu. Here is your room key. You have one new message. Message one. Hola, soy mamá. ¿Recuerdas la, la vieja promesa que me hiciste sobre papá? He enviado un paquete a recepción. Es vital para nuestro plan. Come bien, llámeme pronto. Estoy preocupada. Un beso. No more new messages. You have one new message. Message one. You know who this is? You must be close to achieving our goal. We send the package to the front desk for you. It is required for the next stage. Sayonara. No more new messages. Here's your package, Abu. Thank you. Oh, this is just great. Is that you, Reyes? No, I'm not Reyes. Drop the act, that's the worst disguise I've ever seen. Then I guess you haven't looked in the mirror lately. Touché. What are you doing back in town? I knew something was up with you. Same here, Sherlock. I don't think either of us were being honest. I think it's time we came clean and told the truth about why we're in Thimbleweed Park. You first. Okay. I'm investigating the old pillow factory fire that killed my father. I was wondering why you kept asking about the fire. I figured it was just some perverted pyro fetish. My father was a security guard there. How old were you? I was only five. Do you like adventure games? Not really. They are too slow, and often contain overly contrived stories that make no sense. Yeah, I hear you on that one. That said, clearing your dad's name is a very noble cause. I'm sorry I've given you such a hard time. I need to get into that factory. I'm sure there is evidence in there that will clear his name. Now, why are you really here? Well... I'm here to find the secrets to the Pillow Factory AI for the NSA. It involves top secret national security. That's pretty important. Sounds like we both need to get into the Pillow Factory. Let's work together on this one. Total honesty. Wow, national security. That's some heavy NSA stuff. Let's split up. It will go faster. Good idea. Sir, I have a package, Abu, for you.
Yes, it's my father's watch. It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's per It's my father's old pocket watch, but it's broken, and only a professional will be able to fix it. Perfect. It's a special tool for a special use. It's a very strange looking tool. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. That really won't do anything. I'm innocent! If you didn't do it, a jury will find you not guilty. I heard you used to have a watch repair shop. Can you fix this watch? Why should I? Considering I'm only locked up because of you. It was Agent Ray's fault. I always knew you didn't do it. Well, let me see it. Well, that's a strange looking watch. Ah, but sure, I can fix it. But do you think I can fix it with my teeth? Come back when you have some proper tools. And turn off that awful noise. Play me some theremin music. The doors are closed. It's locked. All circuits are busy. Please. Tr That doesn't seem to work. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to order some food. Sure. Everything is... I'll have the pie. Sorry. Dave ate the last piece. See, Dave? I told you a customer would want it. Those foreign city folks really love the pie. But no, you said. We've seen the last of the city folks. Let me have the pie. It was starting to go bad. Shut up, Dave. I'd like to... Sure. Every... I'll have a hot dog. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move him out. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Oh, my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, gotta go. I feel better now. What can I do for you, honey? I'd like to or- Sure. 
I'm ready for that hamburger. All right, honey. Now that you helped us move those hot dogs, you can have a hamburger. Dave, burn one, take it through the garden, and pin a rose on it. Ready! Been saving one here in the grill pocket just in case. Here you go, hon. Doesn't look as bad as the hot dog, but looks can be deceiving. We interrupt our hostile takeover nonstop music with this important message. Chuck Edmund is not your friend. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. Interesting playlist. Tune Ahead by Razor and the Scumettes, then Tune Ahead by Razor and the Scumettes, followed by Tune Ahead by Razor and the Scumettes, and featuring Tune Ahead by Razor and the Scumettes, and finally Tune Ahead. It's a rare working Phonetron 3000. They can handle hundreds of phone calls. KSCUM's phone system is now out of order. No way am I climbing that. I'm afraid of heights. KSCUM's phone system is now rebooting. Stuff, Alex or Ale Alejandro, if you're Lady Cuckoo. Unless you call to tell me you will be sending me lots of cash via PayPal, you're no pal of mine. And if you are my pal, I'm not answering, picking up, or even acknowledging the phone is ringing. In that case, please feel free to leave me a message and I'll make sure to delete it as fast as possible without even listening to it. Hello, caller. You're live on KSCUM. Uh, hello. Correctly answer two out of three questions to win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. Your first question is, finish this popular political ad slogan. Where's the blank? That's correct. Here's your second question. Who was the president of the United States in 1982? You got it right! And your final question, who said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall? You got it! Let's see how you did. You got three out of three, a perfect score! You win four ThimbleCon 87 tickets. You can pick them up at the Edmund Hotel front desk. What's your name? Um, my name? Thank you, and congratulations. Now back to our regularly scheduled hostile takeover of the airwaves. The doors are closed. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most how may I? There should be some ThimbleCon tickets in my name. Yes, I do have tickets from the Case Gumaboo Trivia Contest. What is your name, Abu, please? I don't see that name, but you have a trusting face, Abu, so I'll just give them to you. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to check out your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. 